Hello everyone, this is Anas. In this video, I am going to discuss cooperative principle. The video is divided into three main sections. In the first section, we will discuss the basic concept. In second, we will go through maxims. And in the last section, we will go through how one can float or violate any maxim. The cooperative principle is proposed by H. P. Grice. He states that make your contribution such as it is required at the stage at which it occurs by the accepted purpose or direction of talk exchange in which you are engaged. The Grice statement may be analyzed in a way that uh, the people who are communicating are cooperative to each other so that they can achieve purpose of communication. The statement of Grice and uh, the cooperative principle is all about the purpose of communication. These are the principles which are categorized in various maxim which explain how one can achieve the basic purpose of communication and uh, in order to achieve purpose of communication the speaker should be truthful estimate what is purpose of communication pass out the material accordingly and keep the topic in premises so that listener can understand these principles are categorized in certain groups called maxims Maxims are considered baseline for communication. For successful communication, speaker need to follow these maxims. So unless if there is any evidence contrary, we assume that speaker tell the truth, estimate what we need to know, pack the material accordingly, keep the topic and give us thought that we may be able to understand. So we have four principles which are considered baseline for successful communication and these principles are called maxims. The first one is maxim of quality. According to this maxim, for successful communication, speaker should tell the truth. Do not say those things what speaker believe to be false and also avoid for what he lack evidence. Maxim of quantity According to this maxim, do not say more or less. Exchange information which is required. Don't make your contribution more or less than required information. For example, someone asks you, did you enjoy picnic last weekend? And you reply to the yes or no. Here, you only pass required information and maximum of a quantity is being followed. But if you respond like, oh, we went in a beautiful bus, there was a plenty of food and blah, blah. Here, you exchange information more than required and uh, the maximum of quantity uh, is being violated. Maximum of manner. According to this maxim, all information should not be ambiguous and obscure. Information should be brief and clear. So according to maxim of manner, information should be clear and should not be ambiguous. For example, someone asks you, do you like my haircut? And if you respond like, yes, I like your haircut, then you follow the maxim of manner. But if you respond like that uh, haircut is interesting and make people look good. Here the information is made obscure and maxim is not being followed. Maxim of relation. The maxim is about relevant information regarding topic. It means that one should relevant to the topic in communication. For example, someone asks a question that, how are you? And if a person replied like, I'm good or I'm fine, 
then he is following the maximum of relation but if he replied like uh, uh, I like coffee or I like tea then he is violating the maximum of relation because he is not relevant to, to the topic so this is all about uh, the four maxims which were quality, quantity, manner and uh, the maxim of relation. The maxim are, maxims are baseline in conversation and, and communication. These maxims are not best regarded as rules but as principles for effective communication. Individual may choose to float or violate. Uh, the maxims may be violated are may be floated by an individual maximum violation involves some element of communication failure when you violate maximum the communication breaks down it is mainly uh, because of providing too much or little information or ambiguous information about the topic so little information or too much information or ambiguous information leads to violation of maxims while in floating of maxims the communication does not break down in floating listener arrives at intended meaning in indirect way like in sarcasm for example someone failed by bad grades in exam while the other congratulate him is a floating of maxim it's a type of sarcasm so the basic difference between floating and violating is that uh, in violation the communication breaks down and it's mainly because of the little information too much information or ambiguous information while in floating the communication does not break down and uh, the speaker arrives at intended meaning in indirect way. Sperber and Wilson, uh, they basically reduced uh, the four maxims of cooperative principle to only one maxim, maxim of relevance. According to them, if you don't tell the truth and uh, not communicating in a relevant manner, then you can't achieve purpose of communication. So this is only relevancy which is on the back of cooperative principle so it's a detailed video in which we discussed cooperative principle the basic concept the maxims how maxim can be floated or violated and uh, we also discussed the sperber and wilson i hope it will be helpful thanks for watching